All right, all right. Black Power is the truth hour. The truth hour with General Sarah soon said he kicked back, get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. Y'all know what time it is. KingSetty.com, online marketplace, official General Setty DVDs, t shirts, hoodies, fly African and comedic jewelry, holistic tonics, and remedies for the family in this time uh, of great plague. You understand art and home decor for the Africans that's trying to uh, uh, transform their home into the African temple that they always wanted. KingSetty.com. We got a sale going on right now for the family 15% off. Get on over there and get you some of those beautiful products that you've been looking at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ring the alarm. GeneralSetty.com. GeneralSetty.com, the uh, most complete. General SETI website, over 800 videos and lecture, lectures of all subjects, too raw for YouTube. You know you need that. Fire up that spirit, the making of the white man series. Most definitely need that. You know, the cure Krakatosis, uh, all debates, all uh, religions exposed, uh, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, that ism and, and the other ism. All uh, ancient religions, e Ethiopia, Egypt, India. We got black power politics and the economics. All the things that are of necessity for the African man and woman today, the African child. Get on over there to GeneralSetty.com. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. Uh, and, and also, uh, ring the alarm. God damn it, General Seti dropping bombs on Patreon. Just got up off of Patreon today. Uh, dear one, uh, spirit, it's time for spiritual warfare or leave it alone. You know, it's time for spiritual warfare or leave it alone. Everybody else got jihads and crusades, and we sitting up here waiting on a dead, a dead beast from off the cross to come down and save us, and he ain't got here yet. You understand? In this time of great turmoil and need, you see. And so did a very powerful one. So you need to get on over there to my pa Patreon and get those exclusive live streams by the general. All the hot topics of the day you won't see on YouTube because it might be too too much fire to drop it on YouTube. Over 150 uh, live stream lectures available for viewing only on Patreon. So become a patron today and gain access to that treasure chest of wisdom. And make sure you uh, subscribe to all my YouTube channels, uh, Sarah Soon Seti YouTube, General Seti YouTube, and King Seti YouTube. Uh, rock that notification bell so you know when the general is going live and like the video. Like it because you love it. Give it a thumbs up, family, and share it with the family. Now, today we're going to be dealing with a very powerful, powerful subject. You know, we dealing with soulless entities that walk the planet. Let me get a drink of water, fam. Because we, you know, yeah, we got a lot of them motherfuckers. All shapes and colors. Straight up. So I'm had volunteered to join with the soul. <laughs> some have volunteered to walk with the soulless now when we talk about soulless family we got to understand something when we talk about the soul we we talking about being connected to the universe being connected first and foremost to the central point of the solar system which is the sun and so this is where you get soul being a, you know, connected spiritually to the sun. And this is why when you go into ancient Egypt, you see that the mightiest deities always were connected to the sun. Even if it don't make, make a difference, you know, they always had the sun disc above their head. You see, above their head to let you know that they were sent center around the sun you know and many of the deities are only aspects of the solar 
You understand what I'm the divine fire. You know, when we talk about uh in the Bible and most holy scriptures, you read about fire. And people don't understand it's not the fire that you strike strike with a match, it's divine fire. And when you talk about divine fire, you're talking about the sun. And so when you're talking about the soulless, you're talking about those who are, who are detached from the sun, who are detached from nature. Now you got you got whole peoples that are soulless. And then you got some of of our peoples who have voluntarily become one of the soulless or who were just edu miseducated in that in that nature to do those types of, you know, to have those types of attributes. You see? And so when you talk about the, being detached from the sun, you're talking about being detached from nature. You see, everything is unnatural. When you talk about the, the soulless, you're talking about an unnatural people that do everything in an unnatural way. You see, you look out there today, you got all type of, young, you know, you got all type of sexual deviants out there of all shapes and forms, you see? And, you know, and we have, you know, we, we, we and today they, they make it, you know, all right in this society to be these things. You understand what I'm saying? But that's a soulless society. You know, that's a soulless society that's it doomed. You understand what I'm saying? To die on its own sword. You see, doomed to die on its own sword. And we, we, we can't wait for that time to come, you see? And so when we talk about, you know, you know, the detached from nature or detached from the sun, you talking about the walking dead. You think when you see that series, they talk about the walking dead. There really is the walking dead on the planet who feed off of the living, who feed off of the living. Anytime you watch, see the thing is, this is what I know. This is what I know. Even when I did the making of the white man, I let him tell his own goddamn story. You see? Zombies, that's right. I let him tell his own goddamn story. I didn't tell the white man's story for him. I let him tell his own goddamn story. So when we talk about the vampire, you see? That was his own story, penned by his own goddamn hand. Nobody wrote that. You see? Nobody wrote that. And see, you see, many of our people who are infected with crackatosis, nigger writers, they want to rewrite the story. You see? And I'm not, you know, I let the I let the man tell his own story. So that, you know, when you see it. You could not deny that story. You see, you can be mad. Now, and I'm going to tell you what, what that is. The, the, you know, the beast can be mad. The Cro-Magnum Neanderthal can be mad. That's all right. He's supposed to be mad. You see, you know, that's why when you talk about the vampire, you see, one of the traits of the vampire is that he cannot look in the mirror. He, and, and there's more than one uh, you know, attribute when you are dealing with that, you see what I'm saying? Number one, when you don't have no reflection, that means you don't have a soul. And so I let him tell his own goddamn story. I didn't make the story up. You see, and it, it, it you know, and it hurt more because many of our people deify the crow magnum. And when he tell his own story, you know, that even hurt more than a nigga creating one. You see what I'm saying? You know, that hurt even more. Because, you know, he, he honors that man. You understand what I'm saying? He looks up to that man or to that woman. You understand what I'm saying? In, 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 in honor and, you know, in, you know, in, in great re in high regard and high respect. You know, and so, you know, when you bring that shit out, they, they kill the messenger. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't create the goddamn message. You understand what I'm saying? This is a, a, a biography, you know, written by the man himself. 
and motherfuckers can't even accept it because they just show you how sick they is. You understand what I'm saying? They want to be something sick. You know, they know he's sick and you want to be the nigga. So you sick too. You sicker than he is. You understand to see the condition that he in and you want to be that shit. You sicker than he is. You see, so some of our people volunteer, volunteer to be one of the souls. You see, they volunteer for that shit. And so that's what we call the neutralized niggas. We call them the neutralized niggas. You see, you know, uh, you know, when you talk about feeding off, they, they, they unable to react to the reality. You know, they, un they unable to react to the reality. You see what I'm saying? You know, and the neutralized nigga lack a spark, even though I, I can't say that he's all the way sold. Unless he didn't went all the way over. The neutralized nigga is one that he see, but he don't say shit. He don't necessarily go over, but that's, you know, when you do that and you don't say nothing, you still with them. You still on their team. Because if you know he's off for the living, you understand what I'm saying? If he feeding off the living, then you supposed to say something. You supposed to rise up and say something. But see, that's one of the diseases of our people. We got to neutralize Negroes. You understand what I'm saying? Who see what's going on and they don't say. They, they do it in their own community. When n niggas rape and pillage, and that's when your heart then been snatched out your chest. And you don't have no, you don't have, you know, when your, uh, you, you know, you, you lack a spark. Because that's where your, your spirit and your, your determination come from, which they call the solar plexus. See, that's the battery inside of you that emanate all the others, what they call chakras. If you ain't got no goddamn solar plexus, if you ain't got that battery in ch inside of you, you understand what I'm saying? That's just like when you start up a car and shit, I believe, what is it? The alternator charges the battery. You see what I'm saying? To keep the battery charged. I, don't, I believe it's the alternator. If you ain't got that motherfucker, then the battery will die. You just running on the damn and eventually it's going to die. You see what I'm saying? And so you got that battery inside of you that they call the solar plexus where you get your, your determination. You getting, you know what I'm saying? Where you get your will, where you get your courage and shit. So you a neutralized nigga mean you ain't got no spark. Nigga, your battery is dead. You're you right. You're a, a zombie. You have, you're unable to react. You see what I'm saying? You might be co conscious of the reality, but you're neutralizing. You're unable to react. You lack a spark. You see what I'm saying? And so you might as you with them. And see, that's where a lot of our peoples is at. They they so crippled by that disease of being a neutralized nigga that even amongst their own community, when you got these these niggas out here feeding off of our people, so they the soulless too. You understand what I'm saying? You got some that didn't been trained in the ways. Uh, 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 of Cro Magnum, you see what I'm saying? Trained in the ways of Cro Magnum, and they they just as soulless and even more soulless. You understand what I'm saying? Because they look like us, you know. They look like us, and and so that's where you know we as black men got to rise up today. We do. We got to rise up. We can no longer blame nobody b about the conditions of our people other than black men. You know, other than black men, that's being a neutralized Negro. That's being a neutralized nigga. When you blame the woman, you blame the children, uh, this, that, and the third for the conditions. If they, if, if you see black women or black children that went astray, it's because niggas have not afforded them no protection, no defense, no spirit of black manhood that will lead them in the right direction. That's the only, you know, because when I look at nature, everything in nature is attracted to the alpha. You, when you look out in the goddamn field, you look out there in Africa, you ain't got to wonder who running that motherfucker. The, the biggest goddamn lion on the goddamn savannah running that motherfucker. You understand the lion that get out there and scrap for his, his pride is running that motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? And so the biggest lion, the lion that gets out there and scrap, then the lion is automatically choose him. You understand what I'm saying? And so if you being the highest representation of black manhood, then ain't no way your woman or your children to go astray.
So anytime you see, even in the what we call the Bible, even they got enough sense to say, how can you, you know, you take a man's house without first binding the strong man? How you going to take a man's house without first binding the strong man? You see what I'm saying? And so first and foremost, you, you have to bind the man. You have to bind it then. From that point, then all things in the nation becomes, you know, a victim of those who have conquest on the nation. And so today, you know, and I'm saying this, you know, because black manhood has been neutralized on the, on the brotherhood level. We got brothers out here, but nigga, one nigga or two niggas or three niggas ain't going to do nothing. We need a brotherhood out here. You understand what I'm saying? We need a brotherhood out here, you know, that's going to rise up and handle this once and for all. And we don't have that. We don't have that today. You understand what I'm saying? And those of us who know the truth, we ain't, we ain't taking that sword to these niggas. You understand what I'm saying? And so we have begun to, you know, take on, you know, the lack of responsibility and the dumb shit that these neutralized niggas and these soulless niggas is doing. We are not attached to a lot of that. And we mad because we believe as an individual that we very well may be doing something positive. But on a very mass note, there's a lot of niggas out here that ain't doing shit. They soulless, they feeding off their people, they piranha, barracuda niggas. And then you got the neutralized nigga. All they want to do is pray to God and hope and, and close their eyes and keep their mouths quiet while these these niggas and these cro magnums and these damn chinks and these damn everybody else is goddamn feeding on the people. Feeding on them. You understand what I'm saying? And nobody want to give you no pass today. So when I look out there and I see a lot of people is upset at the black man, you got black, a lot of sisters out there upset at the black man. And sometimes a nigga, you know, he is, it hurt his fucking heart that when you hear something, you know, they go in on a motherfucker and shit. And, you know, it hurt, but you know what? That sometimes that, that very well is what needed to get you up off of your motherfucking ass and get out there on that battlefield. Because after a while, you should get tired of hearing that shit. You should get tired of hearing that shit and want to rise up and show a motherfucker. You know, sometimes, you know what? You know, a motherfucker will test you. You know what, I, you know what I'm saying? And they keep testing you until it hit, hit a nerve. Till you, you waiting on the next time. You ready to show a nigga. You ready to show a motherfucker today. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to take that shit. It, and let that be the spark that get your goddamn engine moving so you can get out here and show a motherfucker today what you really made of. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, you got the soulless out here. And I speak, you know, not just to the Cro-Magnum, to those in our own people. You understand what I'm saying? Those of our own people. You understand what I'm saying? They're doing more damage, you know, today. Then even the Cro Magnum. He and, and like I don't take no, I don't take my foot off of his goddamn neck for nothing in the world. But it, that's in his nature to do the shit. That's in his nature. We already didn't identify that. That's in his nature. What the fuck is wrong with you? You see? And so they didn't graft it. And motherfuckers always talking about how Yaku grafted the devil. God damn it, talk about how the devil grafted the nigga. You got a lot of niggas out here that been grafted. You see what I'm saying? They've been grafted. You see? And we don't want to talk about that. You see? We don't want to talk about that. And that's where, we, you know, that's where we fell in that. That's where we fell in that family. And I say it in love because I want my family to rise up. I want my family to rise up. At the end of the day, I want my family to rise up. I want victory for my family. That's what I want. So if I say it, goddamn it, and it hurt, motherfucker, let it hurt. Let it burn. Go on them goddamn, go get on them weights, nigga. Get your goddamn notebook out and, and scribble and write, start writing some damn, you know, abnormal missions to, you know, liberation. You understand? You write in your goddamn, write some notes in there every day while you're working out. Let that shit burn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, write you a, 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 a notebook of liberation of all the things that's necessary to get you back up. But we got to do it as a brotherhood. 
eventually. You know, we work on each other as a uh, as individual, but eventually we got to work together as a brotherhood. We got to show people, man. We got to show the world what we made of. You know, and that's the end motherfucking result as a brotherhood. You see, we got to do that as a brotherhood, and it started with every individual. But then we got to start linking. We got to start linking and making this shit pop because times is very deadly today. They've always been deadly. You see what I'm saying? But we can't be weak at this time. We got to start strengthening ourselves. We got to get these stay out of you know, uh, uh, you know, unproductive conversations and you know, unnecessary conversation with these niggas out here. Because they lean you away from your energy source. You got to come in and, and deal with strengthening the, the inner spirit of who you are, the inner soul of who you are. And stay away from these niggas because they're trying to lead you, you know, from your energy. You see, by even, con, you know, having conversation with their ass. We got to pinpoint, we got to isolate today. You see, because we got a soulless people. You understand? You know, we got one by nature. And then we got some that been grafted, so they by nature too. When you been grafted, you ain't not, that's what you is. You can't just talk, and that's what a lot of people don't understand about the grafted nigga. And you wonder why, because we be talking truth, right? And you, and you talking truth, and you say, I wonder why these niggas can't get it. You know, some people can get it, but some just ain't, can't get it because they've been grafted. You have to understand that the spirits of these niggas been grafted. The minds of these niggas been grafted. That means that they soulless. And so you look on the outside and you think everything that and look like you is you and it's not you. It's a grafted nigga. You see what I'm saying? It ain't no, lit ain't no literature, ain't no language can deter them from being who they are. So you might as well, that's why you got to understand that what's ha what has happened. It's been the grafting of niggas. You see what I'm saying? And when you, you ain't nothing you could do with that at all. You see, you know, ain't nothing you could do with that. People talk about Hitler. You know, and what he did to peoples out there. But you, you know, you better, you better study him well. You better study him well, God damn it. You understand what I'm saying? You better study him well. The European, you know, they talk about Hitler and talk about him like a dog. Many of them still honor his ass. You know, okay, they still honor his ass. When it came to the United States and Russia, they, they sure took the Nazi scientists to create the goddamn nuclear programs that they got today. They talk about him like a dog, but they still took all his armaments and shit, took all his scientists and, and shit. You know what I'm saying? And really took a lot of his blueprint. And then when people do uh, dig off into the studies of, of Hitler, Hitler was studying the goddamn uh, eugenics program over here in the United States. So motherfuckers sit up here and talk about Hitler and they don't even un understand that Hitler was studying the goddamn eugenics system of the United States. That's what he used as his goddamn blueprint. You see? And so, you know, when you start talking about all these neutralized niggas, all these soulless niggas, and I th those outside of the race, we already know. We, got, we, we already know how that go. But what's going on inside the race? You see, what's going on inside the race is what we got to deal with. You know, and we got to deal with it as black men. We have to deal with it. And, and understand that, you know, I hear a lot of peoples out there, they use certain terminology. And, you know, I, I, I'm not with, you know, I'm not with. I'm not with certain terminologies out there because a lot of people believe we should be in competition with other people, other men on the planet. I don't believe in that. I believe we should be in confrontation with other men on the goddamn planet. We ain't competing with nobody. You motherfuckers got what belong to us, and it ain't about a competition to get it. It's about a goddamn confrontation to get it. You see? And I'm going to tell y'all something. And, and, and if you don't hear, and hear from the general, man, because y'all going to hear all the other shit from everybody else. Let me, if I have to be a long voice, 
and saying what I'm saying, that's all right. I ain't got to say the same shit because every fucking philosophy that a motherfucker then gave your ass out here has existed side by side with your motherfucking oppression. God damn it. If, 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 if it was such a, 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 a liberating goddamn philosophy, it would have overturned this goddamn Cro-Magnum Neanderthal by now. Okay? I don't want to hear none of that shit. You can keep that shit. We talking about overturning this shit once and for all. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, and I'm going to say this, that when you start, when you start talking about black manhood, and I want to say this, it is founded on a raw aggression, just like any other manhood, or you know, if, if, if even in the animal world, is it's is is founded on a raw aggression to con to conquer, to destroy, to protect, and to defend. That's what it's founded on. It ain't founded on nothing else. Okay, all that shit, other all that other shit come next. You know what I'm saying? Just like you got chronological order. When you start talking about black manhood, goddamn it, it's founded on a raw, aggressive energy to conquer, to defend, to protect, and to, to destroy. That's what it's founded on. You see? And so, you know, and so in that, in that, having that energy, you see, when it comes time, you know, to deal with the situations that's at hand, when you have that, then you got the, you got the ingredients to bring change. You see, when you start talking about that raw aggressive energy to, to conquer, to destroy, to protect, and to defend, you see what I'm saying? You talking about power. None of these niggas want to talk about no power. These niggas want to talk about education. They want to talk about economics. They want to talk about spirituality. They want to talk about relationships. They want to talk about a whole lot of shit. You understand what they just don't want to talk about no power. That's what they don't want to talk about. You understand what I'm saying? They don't want to talk about no, cause you ain't going nigga. Power is always exchanged by force. You not going to exchange no goddamn force. So niggas don't want no power. They don't want no power. And so that's what the fuck we talking about. You know what I'm saying? When we get ready to make change, you understand what I'm saying? If you ain't got power, and what is power? Power is when you can make a motherfucker do something even when they don't want to do it. That just sums it up. Get it done, motherfucker, or else. You understand? When, and they know what the uh, or else means. And they don't want the or, or else. You understand what I'm saying? If you ain't, you know, so power is always backed up by force. It's backed up by numbers. It's backed up by a goddamn demand. You don't beg nobody for no goddamn when you got power. You don't dem you demand it. Get your get your ass up out of here. Quick. Make a move. Quick. You got power. You got force. You got numbers. You got demand. You, you don't negotiate. You don't negotiate. When you compete, you you when you competing with a motherfucker, you negotiating with a motherfucker. We're not competing. That means it ain't no, it is no possibility for me to lose. On my shit. What the fuck is you mean? We, we are not in no competition. We in confrontation. This my shit. We ain't competing. That means there's a possibility for me to lose if we competing. We ain't no possibility for me to, to lose on my shit. You see what I'm saying? And so we about now, we're not about competition. We about confrontation. Get up out of here. You understand? So we talking power today. And that's what power is based on that raw, aggressive energy. If you come from any other direction, you're going to lose the fight because the other motherfucker know what power is. He know what it is. He know what it is. And so he ain't going to, he understand the rules of power and the motherfucker who in power run everything else. The education, the economic, he ain't going to start with the economics because he'll come in and take your motherfucking economics. He'll come in and take it. He don't give a fuck about the education. He'll take your nation nigga and reinstall education. What the fuck do that mean? You understand what I'm saying? He'll come in and take your shit and reinstall education. He'll reinstall the economy, take your motherfucking resources. He don't give a fuck about that. You can't start there. That can't be the central aspect of your energy. You see what I'm saying? 
Yo, as a black man, your motherfucking foundation should be the raw, aggressive energy to conquer, to destroy, to protect, and motherfucking defend. That's it. And then you establish all those other aspects of existence around that. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you build all them other aspects of existence around that. A motherfucker can argue that up and down. Up and down. The only motherfucking thing that motherfuckers ain't really done, you understand what I'm saying? Because they did it in the wrong manner. You don't sit up in your motherfucking master house talking about you going to take the master. Just take the head. You said that's what's wrong with motherfuckers. Motherfuckers want to say, well, niggas talked about, yeah, motherfucker, you talked about it in the belly of the beast. You didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. And so you ain't, you wasn't trying to win. You wasn't really trying to win. You was being silly. You didn't broadcast it and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? You didn't broadcast it what the fuck you want to do. That's what power was supposed to do. People don't understand. You know what? And motherfuckers don't like it if I say it. When you see what the white man doing to motherfuckers, that's what he's supposed to do when you in power. Because he know goddamn well as soon as he get out of motherfucking power, what's going to happen to his ass. So you act like you. So when you say, oh, the, 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 the white man pulled the nigga out the, car, out the car and killed him and beat his head in or did this, that's what the fuck he's supposed to do. If he's going to try to stay in power, what the hell you think he going to do? You think he brought your, your your ass over here, nigga, to live good? Nigga, he brought your ass over here to be, for free labor. You understand what I'm saying? To do what your ass been doing for the last four. He didn't bring you over here for nothing else. He didn't bring you over here to give you no reparation. He didn't bring you over here to give you no reparation. Whether we deserve it or not ain't the motherfucking question. It's a reality. You understand what I'm saying? Once you subtract, you understand? You got, when you look at this shit, from the aspect of power, then you got to you got to formulate the possibilities, the probabilities, the impossibilities, and the cert certainties. You got certainties. You see what I'm saying? You got you got possibilities, you got impossibilities, you got probabilities, and you got certainties. You see what I'm saying? And so I mean. What motherfucker you know going to jump on another motherfucker and then give them some kind of power to do the same thing to them that he didn't just did to you? Why would you think a motherfucker would do that? So I already know that it ain't even in the aspects of power for him to do some shit like that. So I eliminate that from even being a fucking possibility. Whether it's right or wrong don't mean shit. Yeah, you know, in my mind, it's right that he give me my motherfucking reparation. You understand what I'm saying? In my mind, but morality and right and wrong is, you know, is, uh, what's the word? I forget, the, you know, I, I, I use it so much and I'm moving so goddamn fast. But right and wrong is based on, uh, you know, each individual. It's subjective. That's what it is. It's subjective. You understand what I'm saying? Based on the individual. So you, you know, when you say right, you act like you're right, the only motherfucking right. You act like you're right, the only right. His goddamn, your, your right and his rights is two different rights. Your right is all wrong for him. You understand? And his goddamn right is all wrong for us. It, that's one of the things that we don't understand about this. That we are diametric opposites. This is in nature. Everything in nature got a diametric opposite. That means the two furthest extremes. You understand what I'm saying? The two furthest extremes on the planet. You see what I'm saying? And we the two furthest extremes. And you look into your diametric opposite expecting what? You don't even understand that. So if you understood that he was your diametric opposite and see the fact that you denied your aggressive, your raw aggressive nature to conquer and defend. You understand what I'm saying? To, to conquer and destroy, to protect and defend because you, you denied that. Okay. You denied that and you put up all these illusions of, of impossibility and certainties that they not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? And so when you denied your, uh, your raw aggressive nature, 
You don't mean it. You don't want no confrontation. You don't even really want to compete. You don't even really want to compete. But it's about confrontation and about no competition. Because ain't no motherfucker going to compete with me in my motherfucking house. Because that's just power. I don't understand what motherfucker we thinking that that's going to happen. You know, the motherfucking power. When as soon as you start trying to compete, I tell you what, go over to Russia and compete in goddamn Russia with Vladimir Putin and see what the fuck happened to your ass. Go over there to China, to over there, what's his name? Uh, Zing, Jing, Zing, or whatever the fuck his name. And, 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 and go over there and compete with him. Try to compete with him in his house and see what happened to your ass. They got a goddamn million of them goddamn Muslims over there in goddamn detention facilities right now. You understand? Y'all over there talking that shit, you know, against them people and whether the right they ain't got nothing to do with right or wrong. He the motherfucking master of that, of that house. And based on power, he going to put that boot down on any motherfucker that's talking outside of him being in power. Because once you understand power, and I'm talking about this soulless shit, because when you deny your raw, aggressive, energy to conquer and destroy to protect and defend then the soulless can come in and feed on the people because that's the only energy that's going to keep them motherfuckers up off of you not no education not no economics not no spirituality none of it none of it god damn it gonna keep that beast up off of you you got to have that raw aggressive energy to to conquer and destroy, protect and defend. And because through the white terror that has went on for 400 years, and ain't no sense of crime, because when you got that, you, you just going to get busy. You understand what I'm saying? You just going to get busy. You going to get to the fight. You understand what I'm saying? But you've denied yourself even the fight. And so niggas are in doing that. So what he did, he didn't punk. He didn't punk black manhood. You understand what I'm saying? When he severed it and you take the man out there and you lynch him and you sever his phallus, you see, that's what, it, that's in essence is what he's saying. He's severing our manhood. You see what I'm saying? He's severing our manhood. And so though I say it, I say it in a way so motherfuckers could understand what the, what predicament that they in. That Cro-Magnum Neanderthal got a nigga nuts hanging up over his fireplace. And he dared your ass to come in there and get him. That's exactly what the fuck he done. You understand what I'm saying? And niggas don't want to go get him. You don't want to go get him. You don't want to go get him, nigga. You don't want to go get him. And so what happens, I'm talking to the soulless now. I'm talking to them niggas that didn't de de uh, deny their black manhood now. Knowingly or unknowingly. But I'm going to give you an option today because somebody got to tell you because niggas have been pumped out of their manhood. You understand what I'm saying? From that raw, aggressive energy to conquer and destroy, protect and defend anything that brings him in conflict. will happen to go get get his nuts up off of that white man's fireplace. He deny it. He denied. He turned his back on it. Whether it's woman, that's right. That's right, nigga. That's right. If you had to defend that woman against that tyranny of that white man, you would deny her. You will blame her for it. That's what you would do because you scared to go get your nuts up off of that goddamn fireplace. Okay? And the children. The children. Kidnapping the goddamn children. Putting them all through the goddamn system. So you don't want to go get them. You don't want to say your babies. You don't want to say your babies. Because then you're going to have to go in there and get them. But you don't want to go get them, nigga. So you will deny the babies. Anything that's going to bring you in confrontation with that, having to deal with that white terror, you're going to deny it. You're going to sever your connection to it. And, and so when you start talking about all the things that's going wrong in our nation, that is the primary sickness that's causing all the other sicknesses in the nation. Period. Because, like I say, when you see that goddamn lion out there on that motherfucking savannah and he chewing in these motherfuckers, 
the lion is going to automatically fall in nature with that. You ain't even got to say shit. They're going to fall in, in line. The baby's going to admire it. They're going to admire it. No, everybody loves to see a lion getting out there, getting busy, chewing in their ass, chewing the motherfuckers up, spitting them out. You understand what I'm saying? That's by nature. And so you, you, in order, that would automatically bring the majority of what's going and everything else that don't fall in line, you know what to do with it. You understand? Some shit done been grafted and you just have to, you have to detox. You have to detox. But that's really where, where things, you know, that's what's going wrong. And so I say that in honor of black manhood because I know what it is. I know what it is. You understand what it, and I know what it must be in order for us to be the great kings and emperors of old. I know I don't I don't I don't intend to speak this shit just so motherfuckers could have dialogue on the internet. You understand what I'm saying when I hear motherfuckers out there talking about the black man it it fucks me up. You know what I'm saying when I hear motherfuckers out there the shit that these niggas are saying out here talking down on the black woman, talking down on his children, out here walking around with the Cro-Magnum woman, the beast woman, and equating her to the great goddess of the universe, there is a sickness that must be purged from this planet, and it's not going to be done by no dialogue. Niggas, it's got to be done by the sword. That's the only way that this shit going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? And so in essence, we got to strive for power. We cannot strive for nothing else. We cannot strive for economics. Does that mean don't get economics? No, but that's not going to change this shit around. You got to get what you, you stay, you know, eat, get what you can get. But that ain't going to change this shit around. If your focus and your central point is economic, we're going to be in this shit again. The man who's in power got all of that by default. When you go for the power, God damn it, you got it all by default. They ain't going to go, you know what I'm saying? They not going, a, a man who really understand power and running nation know the central point is understanding how power is, you understand, assessed and how you, you know, the attributes of power. You understand how you facilitate power. You see what I'm saying? Once you understand that, that, Cause you can have a despot motherfucker, an evil motherfucker that understand the rules of power, and stay in in fucking power until he die, and pass it down to his sick ass son who do the same shit. Another gen. Look at them motherfuckers over there in Korea. Look at them. And I ain't saying I ain't taking no sides against them, but they some sick motherfuckers. They is. They they destroyed. They com committed genocide on our peoples over there too. So I don't have no love for them motherfuckers. Three generations from the grandfather to the son to the grandson, all of them sick. Every last one of them sick. Committed genocide on their own people. Maybe some of them needed to have genocide, but goddamn it, look at the goddamn nation. They still in turmoil and they in power and they still in turmoil. They ain't been able to rise about the sickness yet and they in power. So you see, and so you got the, that just let you know right there. So you can understand the rules of power and maintain control. It don't make no difference if you understand power. So we have to understand the attributes, the attributes of power. And when we do that, that is share the, the, you know, that is share the light on everything else. You understand? Shit, you know, motherfuckers will understand, you know, how to destroy and defeat their adversaries because they're going to do it by nature. And so, again, when you talk about the vampire, you know, and the trace of the vampire, when you talk about there's no reflection in the mirror, that means he cannot accept, even though he know how ruthless he is, he know how demonic he's been, he knows how brutal he, he's been. You understand what I'm saying? He's not going to accept you telling him that. He's not going to accept that. He's not going to look in the mirror to see it. So that's when it, when it means that the vampire don't have no reflection. 
He don't have no reflection. You can say what all you want to say. Oh, you did this to me. You did that to me. God damn it. That don't mean a goddamn thing. He has no reflection. That means he does not acknowledge none of that. He don't see none of that in the mirror. You understand what I'm saying? That he has no soul. You see, he has no soul. He's not connected to nature. He's unnatural. You see what I'm saying? He's unnatural. And so we got to understand that today, family. And so hopefully, because, you know, like I say, I'm not going to walk. I ain't going to hold your hand, nigga. You my brother and I love you. But I'm going to teach hard truth on your ass so you could get up and rise up and be who I know you are. You understand what I'm saying? You got to dig deep and you got to quit accepting this bullshit from these peoples on this planet. You must, you must. This got to be the, the last motherfucking time that we go through this. It got to be the last time. And so I know a lot of people might be mad at me. But like I said, I did it in the love of our people, in the redemption of our people. This ain't the time of Garvey. We so far into the hole that we got to yell and holler and scream and pull and fucking kick and bite to wake our people up. We got too many that ain't even, will never wake up. And so this is not the time where we could just, you know, in those times you had a lot of people that understood they was African. You don't have nobody that, in too many people that believe in they African. So today you got to have a general that's going to motherfucking jump right in your motherfucking chest. And when don't nobody tell you, I'm going to tell you as hard as it might be. And remember, I did, did it in the love of the redemption of African people. So family, we out of here today. Beware of the soulless. Beware of the neutralized niggas. Beware of the soulless in your own people. Reclaim, black man, reclaim that raw, aggressive energy to conquer, to destroy, to protect and defend and teach that to your sons. Teach that to your sons to protect, to defend. And when you do that, and when you do that, and you defend, what do you defend? What do you protect? Your woman and your children with, without question. And if it costs you your life to do that, that's a righteous, that's the most righteous decision that you could ever make to give your life for your woman and your children is the most righteous decision that you could ever make. Do it in honor, brother. I know you could do it. This is the general Sara soon said he's saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Liberation through African education and confrontation. Black power.